I hurt my leg. Okay, uh, my name is Şevket Burçak Dağlı. Uh, I'm a physics teacher in Ted Bursa College. Two years ago, I and my student Göktürk Bercan, together we made a project which is called Self-Sterilizing Cell Phone Screen. Here is, this is the Göktürk's picture. He is a very smart person and handsome guy. <laughs> and uh, I want to start my speech uh, with a quote, quotation by Timothy Julian, if you share your cell phone, you also share bacteria. What was the starting point uh, in this project? Uh, starting point it was in news. Uh, one day Gökter came to me and he, he said that he had heard the news from Fox News. This is the website of the news. Mobile phones 18 times dirtier than the toilet handles. This was very in interesting and we decided to check this information if it, it is true or not. So uh, we made an experiment. We took uh, bacteria colonies from ordinary cell phone screen and toilet handle. Uh, for this experiment, our biology teacher, uh, Engin Emlek, helped us. Thank you, Engin Emlek. And uh, this is ordinary, ordinary cell phone screen. These bacteria colonies taken from cell phone screen, this is the toilet ha handle. Uh, you can see the difference, maybe 20 times dirtier than the toilet handle. So, uh, we decided to make a project. How can we solve this problem? And uh, we decided to use ultraviolet light. What is ultraviolet? Uh, ultra ultraviolet is a kind of electromagnetic wave, uh, which has a wavelength between 10 nanometers and 400 nanometers. Uh, especially 240 and 280 nanometers range, uh, this is the deadly for bacteria and sterilization, also medical sterilization. And uh, we search for the uh, ultraviolet light sources, but in Turkey most of the light sources are very weak. You can't install it into a cell phone. So, we decided to uh, use ultraviolet LEDs, but in Turkey market there's no UV LEDs. So we searched China market, but uh, there, there were lots of uh, UV LEDs in China market, but uh, uh, all of almost all sellers didn't want to sell us because they were accustomed to thousand pieces. Finally, Göktürk uh, found a seller who admitted to sell us two LEDs and uh, their price were $50. These are our LEDs. Uh, they have a wavelength of 280 nanometers. And we choose cell phone. Uh, it is Samsung S3 mini. We will install uh, this. We installed this LEDs into this cell phone, but uh, we encountered a problem. What was the problem? Voltage incompatibility. Our LEDs has an operating voltage of 5 volts, but our cell phone battery voltage has 3.7 volts. To solve this problem, we uh, found an electrical device, which is called DC-DC Converter Step-Up Power Supply. This device uh, can convert 3.7 volts to 5 volts. So, uh, we found an ex expert about these uh, electronic devices, and uh, we found second problem, uh, there wasn't enough space in the cell phone. If you see the traditional cell phone interior, uh, there is no space. So, to solve this problem, we cancelled the speaker of the phone, we removed it, and a flashlight. So, uh, and the, another problem, cracked screens, uh, the expert tried to push into the uh, tried to push the circuit into the cell phone. We cracked the screen, and one screen, two screen, three screen. Finally, we destroyed three Samsung S3 Mini for this project, uh, and we made it finally for, for the four, fourth uh, trial. We uh, didn't crack the screen and uh, we put together the system. And we, for this uh, project, we developed a software, and uh, I will show you a video about the software. 
This is our phone and this is the video. Here our phone and in my hand you can see the phone. Here the, the uh, application. Uh, there are two boxes in the application and first is uh, delay time and second box is for uh, working time. Uh, it is written on the boxes 2 and 600. It means when I push this button the system will work two seconds later and it will continue 600 seconds. And for the demonstration I will change the uh, second box number as 5 and I push the button. You can see the LED is, is working for 5 seconds and it will stop. Yes. This is the our transition system. Okay, for the uh, complete uh, transition, for the second boxes, you have to enter 600 seconds. And, uh, okay, we did it. And let me show you our form. You can see it. Uh, it, is, it is working, but we, uh, we tested the form, if it is working or not. And uh, first of all, we researched the sources and similar products, and we took samples from the screen, and we count the bacteria colonies. Uh, Göktürk uh, did it for us, and uh, we observed two types of bacteria. First uh, is Staphylococcus aureus. Uh, it causes uh, small skin wounds, bacteremia, and pneumonia. And second type of bacteria, Staphylococcus epidermidis, it causes blood poisoning, acne, and endocarditis. So, you made the experiment, and uh, we took examples from the uh, cell phone screen. You can see the bacteria colonies. Ten minutes later, there is no bacteria. And another experimental results before you can see the bacteria colonies, and ten minutes later, there is no bacteria. Uh, for our sterilization person, I can say uh, we reached 98% sterilization. But what are the similar products? Uh, there is a product which is called phone soap. Uh, it's an external device uh, and its mass is 0.63 kilograms. It is very heavy and it uses UV fluorescent lamp. And let me show you another picture. Also, there is another system for uh, sterilization. Uh, it is called antimicrobial glass. Uh, it uses silver ions and it has low level sterilization and uh, it is harmful for environment and also people. You can see a picture. Uh, this woman is Rosemary Jacobs. Uh, her uh, face skin is turned to silver because of silver ions. Uh, this system is applicable to Kiox machines, other telephone screens, smart watches, tablets, and other touch screen devices. For improve this project, uh, first of all, uh, we can reduce the cost because in China market, if you order two LEDs, you know, uh, one LED price is uh, two, $25, but if you order 1,000 pieces, uh, the LED prices decreases to 0.2 dollars and a uh, wavelength you can use 260 nanometer wavelength and there are lot there were, there is there are lots of uh, LEDs which emits 260 nanometers and automatic sensor you can install automatic sensor in cell phone because UV light sometimes can uh, be harmful for human eye eyes so if somebody took to takes the phone uh, the automatic sensor will stop the application and uh, you can or we can uh, make better application also design we can change the design also uh, phone companies can change design possible design is here uh, you can see uh, UV LEDs can place in this area as shown in figure uh, also dimensions uh, you can see these LEDs are a little a little big but uh, there is type of uh, LED which is called SMD. It means surface mount device. They are tiny LEDs, and companies can install uh, in this type of LEDs onto the surface. 
You can get rid of bacteria using our sterilization system. Health is everything. Thank you. Thank you.